Are you a movie buff? Hey, aren't all, all Americans movie buffs? What kind of movies do you prefer? I have to admit, I'm a bit of a sci-fi buff, especially the dystopian futures. Favorite movie? Blade Runner. But those visions of the future are called science fiction for a reason. Utterly broken down civilizations, crime waves permanently all over the nation. Nowadays, in certain parts of America, it's not fiction. In the last four days, look at the footage coming out of California. Whether it's luxury stores, whether it's Louis Vuitton, or whether it was most recently what we saw, a pharmacy being raided, up to 80 people at one time, organized logistically with vehicles, some of them even armed. This is happening in America. What does it mean, and what do we do about it? There is nobody better to talk about it than the man who has come to be known as America's mayor, who helped New York twice get back up off its knees, first with the crime wave in the 1980s and then after 9-11. Mayor Giuliani, welcome to Greg Kelly Reports. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you, Sebastian. Pleasure. So there's nothing mystical, there's nothing magical about what you did in New York. Can you explain what you did with your team, with people like Bernie Kerrick and the others? When you came sure. in, you brought a new philosophy. What was that philosophy? Well, the philosophy was that we weren't going to have crime. And we had strategies for every different type of crime. I spent a year and a half preparing it before I became mayor uh, with experts like uh, uh, Professor Wilson, James Q. Wilson, Professor Kelling, uh, le left and right. I, I may have rejected some of the ideas on the left, but I, at least I wanted to understand them. I wanted to understand why they were letting people out on bail. So uh, this reminds me now of what we went through then. When I became mayor, we had a situation called wilding. And uh, uh, people like that would go into Central Park, and they'd be so many of them, you couldn't stop them. And they would uh, sexually abused girls, steal pocketbooks, but there'd be 30 or 40 of them, you know, doing what those animals were doing in the store there. And uh, so what do you do about it? You organize a group of about five, 600 cops. And when they got 50, you got 400. So right, right now, uh, basically, uh, the San Francisco police should be descending on them, waiting right outside with about 500 cops and every paddy wagon they have. And if they have to borrow some, borrow some. And they should all spend the night in jail. And how, and how important was this concept of the, the broken windows theory, that it's not just, you know, the rapes, the muggings, the gun crimes, but the smallest infraction must, must be dealt with because you send a message, correct, Matt? 100 percent. And, you know, just... Just for the elitist snobs that uh, make fun of it, uh, it's a, 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 a theory that was developed by a Harvard professor, <laughs> James Q. Wilson. <laughs> not, not developed by Rudy Giuliani or Bernie Carrick or, or uh, Bill Bratton or us cop types. And it's a brilliant theory. And I saw it work for about 10 years in small cities. And when I became mayor, there was a big question, even for me and for Professor Wilson, would it work in a big city? or the biggest city, you know, 8 million people. And there were legitimate issues as to maybe it wouldn't. Well, my goodness, it worked really well. Now, the way it applies to this is, why are there, why are there no police here? I mean, this as a mayor, uh, my police commissioner would now lose his job. Uh, if he couldn't yeah. contain Ma it, that's one thing. But you've got to try. And we started, yeah. we Mr. started this during the riots. Mr. Mayor... Uh, let's go from the, the crime at that level, uh, the looting, 
to the highest level of criminal justice. I have to get your reaction to the breaking news. These five new subpoenas from the quote unquote January 6 committee of Nancy Pelosi. Uh, the idea that we've had uh, Roger Stone subpoenaed, Alex Jones, three under other individuals. Add to that Mark Meadows and Steve Bannon. Are we seeing the collapse of, of the rule of law at the highest levels in the United States, Mr. Mayor? Oh, yeah, Sebastian, we watched that all through the Trump presidency. I mean, the Democrats handled themselves like um, fascists. They, they, there were no constitutional rules. Why is it that the only lawyers whose law offices get broken into are Donald Trump's lawyer? Remember, they went and got my iCloud account. I'm a lawyer. I have a lot of clients. Where right now we're going through some of that. You can't imagine all of the attorney-client communication. Do you know when they started taking my iCloud account? The day I represented Donald Trump. They had no interest in it before that. Basically, it was to as far rip away from him ahead. his attorney-client privilege because he's not entitled to it. So, no, we became well, a fascist look. country somewhere at the end of Obama, and now it's on steroids. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.